In this video, I'm going to introduce you to generics. So in the last uh, um, video, we had an array list which we declared like this. Array list m equals new array list. Now, because we haven't specified anything, that means we can put any objects of any type we like into our array list. So here, for example, we're putting an integer. Here we're putting a string. Here we're putting another integer. Now, sometimes it's very useful to be able to, to restrict the sorts of elements we can put into our array lists, and we do that using generics. So here's a very simple example. Um, here we've declared an array list, and here we use these angle brackets. That's like a less than sign. Then we put the type, and then a greater than sign. So here we're saying an array list called M, which we can only put integers in. And to create it using here's our here's our new constructor, we say new array lists, angle brackets, integer, and then the open and close round brackets that we normally have with constructors. And now we're only allowed to add integers to our list. And then our for loop, rather than saying object, rather than saying for object O in M, now because we know that everything's an integer, we can say for integer O in M system dot out print the low. So um, uh, generics are very easy. They just allow us to specify, uh, be more, we specify the types of the objects that we want to put into our array list. So let's compile and run that program. And there it puts the the elements into our list. What would happen if we um, tried to um, add something else? So let's say m uh, m dot add hello. So we're trying to add a string into our uh, list of integers. So the compiler picks that up as an error message. It says you're trying to add a string into um, a list of integers, which you can't do. Uh, so let's make that 5. So we might want to, for example, have a, 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 a list which just held strings. So let's, de let's define a list that can just hold strings. So let's call it k, and instead of integer, we write string. So now, instead of adding these sorts of things, we'll add strings. So we could put, um, I don't know, hello, oops, spelt wrong, doesn't matter, blah, 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 that's enough, get rid of that one. So there I'm putting my, uh, don't forget to change this to K, because we're putting them in K, not into uh, M. So now if we wanted to print out this one, what would we have to do? We'd have to say string, string O in K, uh, system.out.println O. So let's try that. So there we go, it's printed out the strings. Now why is that useful? Um, well. Suppose that we um, wanted to print out, I don't know, the, let's write something that prints out the, um, the last character in a, for each, um, for each uh, s string in our, um, in our list. So we wanted to print out OSFH. So how would we do that? We would say, we would replace the, um, this, with o dot char at 
um, o dot length minus one. So we're printing the we're printing the uh, in in for each time round the uh, round the loop we're taking o is the current string we're we're finding the length of it minus one and we're printing the character at that position so if I've done that right it should print o s f h so let's try there we see o s f h now because we knew um, because we knew, uh, or Java knew, that um, these were only string, every element of K was a string, we, it was very simple just to say O.char at it, knew that O was a string. Now if we tried to do that without generics, let's see what would happen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, replace this code here, and I cut and paste that code here to here. Let's make this a bit longer. And I make this uh, K1 instead of K, but I'm going to take away the generics. So we've got array list K1 is new K list. So now I'm going to add exactly the same things to K1. And now let me try compiling that and see what happens. Oop, that worked. I was surprised. That wasn't supposed to work. Um, what have I done wrong? Oh yes, I haven't changed this to K1. This needs to be a K1. So there we go, because we're, we're trying to print out the contents of K1, not K. So um, let's do that. So we compile that. Ah! And we get an error message there. And what it's complaining about here is that we've said string O in K1, but um, because we haven't specified any gen any type for this list, it, it can take any object. So it's complaining that we've put a string here, when in fact, because we haven't given a um, a generic type as we've done here, it means that um, the uh, K1 doesn't contain strings necessarily. It contains objects. So what the compiler is suggesting that we do is that we change this to object. So I'll change that to object like that and try and recompile because uh, K1 contains objects and not strings. So let's try that. Now we've got two errors. And the error, um, um, the main error that it's complaining about now, I think it's the only error, is yes, the two errors, is that O is now an object, but we're trying to find the length of the object here. And also we're trying to do char at of the object. And neither of these things are defined in general for objects. They're only defined for strings. So the way around that is to do typecasting. So we have to tell Java that O is in fact a string here. So we say we have to put string here to say that O is a... Let me make this a bit bigger so we can see what's going on. Not that. Um, this. So we have to tell it that um, O is a string. So we have to typecast O to a string. So I put string in brackets, and I put all uh, another lot of brackets round that. And again, I have to do the same here. So I'm going to say string, and then I'm going to put that around like that. So I've tried to typecast both these O's here to tell Java, the Java compiler that in fact I know that they're going to be strings. So let me save that and now I go to recompile my program and it works. Great. So now I can run it. So here this is doing it without without the um, without using generics and this is doing it with generics so as you can see with generics it's been a lot easier I have I've avoided all this typecasting thank you